y'all call me and some of the young people, I am coach. Um, I coach the high school volleyball sometimes. Anyway, I'm here to help you out with parenting. Everyone in here is a parent pretty much. We have our parents correct. Raise your hand. Don't be shy, don't worry. I'm not gonna bite. Y'all should not, don't raise your, don't you raise your hand, that's right. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips, okay? It's, I'm glad I have some helpers down here in the front row, some young people. Parenting, I'm, I'm not an expert. I have a four-year-old little boy, most of you know Christopher. He is always sharp and snazzy. I dress him out, you know, I mean, he, I don't play, I don't play. And I'm a, I'm a thrifty parent. You know, I'm not gonna just spend my money frivolous, frivolous, frivolously. Ah. Mm, that's the Holy Ghost. Ah, glory! Thank you, Jesus! Woo! It's in here, I can only imagine. So I save, I can, I can stretch a dollar. I can stretch five dollars. The way I do that, keep him looking sharp like he does, little cats. I just saved it from when he was two months old. Those shorts, his pants, from two months old. That's all you do. Don't, don't go out by him no more. No, just save him. He'll grow into them. The shoes, I just saved my dad. Dad, save your shoes for Chris. He'll grow into them. They might flop off his feet, but he'll be all right. He's really walking in Pop Pop shoes. It's so funny. We do that as parents. We're like, oh, let's go to the store. Let's buy clothes for our kids. Let's get them shoes ten times too big for them. But let's buy clothes that's two, ten times too small for them. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? I don't know. I told, my, I, I told somebody the other day, you know, Bill Cosby said that kids have brain damage. I don't believe that. I don't. They don't have brain damage. Nobody does. Well, uh, actually, <laughs> it's all right, baby. It's going to be okay. I tell my son, and I thought this was only a joke. Bill Cosby's Bill Cosby. I was like, oh, that's so funny. Oh, he's funny. Now I'm telling my son, come here. Come here. Come here. Here. It's, I mean, he doesn't understand English or something. I don't know what the problem is. I can't speak any other language but tongues, and I don't think he quite gets that yet. So come here. And he's just sitting there playing his Game Boy. He can hear me. He heard me the first time. What, is, what does that make me? Crazy? Foolish? Why don't I just go get him the first I say, come here, boy. Come here when I say, come here, come here. Medea said it. When I say, sit down, I say, sit down, Joel. Sit down. Where's Joel? Sit down. I say, sit down. Where's he at? Pass right? I say, sit down when I say, sit down, sit down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't we love our children? They are a blessing from God. Mm -hmm. That's why you have more than one, not me. That's right. I'm so blessed by him, I said, that's enough, Lord, I can't take any more. I don't know how Pastor Wright and Sister Wright does it, but bless you, not me. I said, if I have to get one more of you, take me now, Jesus. I give up the ghost, just take me now. I love my son. He's a special gift to me. I wouldn't trade him for the world if I could have... It won't come out anyway. I stopped there. But he, to he told me something the other day. He said, Mommy, you know what? I want to get the Holy Ghost. I said, well, praise God. That is awesome. This is wonderful. So we were watching Nathaniel's baptism the other day. And Sister Lori Ald Aldridge went down and looked at him and said, Hey, buddy, isn't this awesome? Don't you want to get baptized? Nope. <laughs> so we're still praying for that other part. He'll get there eventually. I think it's the whole water thing. He'll be okay. <laughs> Kids are a wonderful gift. Am I right? Yes. Parenting any great? Yes. Teenagers, I don't want any. I said, Lord, when he gets to be that age, just kill him. Take him. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> oh, no, Lord, don't do it. No. That's almost like when we come to church. Lord, use me, use me. We come up to the front. Young people, y'all went to camp. Oh, Jesus, use me. I want to be used. 
Bless me, Lord, until you start going through all that stuff. I say to you, don't use me. Don't use me. You don't know what you're saying. We ask, Lord, give me patience. I need patience, Jesus. Bless me with patience. Mm. Mm. Give me patience. Lord, I want wisdom. You ask for patience, he's going to help you to wait. He said, wait. I say, wait. Wisdom, well, dummy, you got it. Say, Lord, give me, give me knowledge of your word and your book. He said, well, read, fool. The book is right there. That's all you got to do is open it up. Jesus, I want to be used of you. All right, go and clean the toilets. I didn't say that way, Lord. I want to be used of you. All right, take a, I said, no, Lord. No, that's not what I want. I said, it's up to him, right? Amen. We are being used every day through our children. I am so thankful to, to be a part of such a wonderful, wonderful congregation and school and just a wonderful body of people, a family where our children are very important to us. And I'm glad that I can say that my son is being raised in this just like I was raised in this and he's being just surrounded with love and the knowledge and the presence of God on a consistent and a daily basis, not just at home, but when he comes here, when he comes to school here, when he's at Sunday school, it's, it never goes anywhere. And I'm just thankful for that. Parenting, ain't it great? If you're not a parent, ain't it great? 